Australian Commonwealth government subsidies for domestic manufacturing industry have huge impact on living standard and budget balance in Australia. Recently, Toyota and Ford have announced that they will stop making cars in the following years. It proves that the domestic industry faced downturn trend and the ABC News that invested $3 of every $1 of taxpayer funds in the car industry. So, spending on domestic industry get least return than increase the budget deficit and government shouldn't adopt the policy of offering subsidies to the industries. Nowadays, globalization is invaluable in the world development, and Australia should take advantage of international trade to increase economic growth. The government should recognize that the developing countries has triple labor costs in the manufacturing industry. For example, Thailand minimum wage is less than two dollars per hour, and the high Australian export prices can be attracted to the international market. Also, the free trade agreement removes the quota limitation, and it will lead to the domestic industry face higher cost of production because of lower prices of imported goods such as cars. So, the domestic industry will make a huge loss for economic growth because of the research by Parliament of Australia. It supports that the demise of car industry has touched off 200,000 further job losses. Therefore, the government should invest taxpayer money into efficient production, such as mining company, to reduce the budget deficit and increase wages. Adam Smith, Invisible Hand Theory, proved that less government intervention and formulate specific market discipline freely can make better job of finding efficiency and wealth. As a result, Australia should believe that the end of the domestic manufacture is invincible, but globalization can improve country's output and household income in the long run. In addition, if the government continues to subsidize domestic manufacturing, it will affect Australian technology innovation investment, such as IT system. Domestic manufacturing faces large scale, low margin feature, and as the research in the horizon, Prime Minister Albert mentioned that once the subsidies to the industry, it is difficult to get out. So the government should commit to the development of innovative high technology production. If the government still offers subsidies to the domestic industries, other companies have less willingness and incentive to develop innovation capability because firms can get reward without making any improvement. Further, the innovation theory of profit by Joseph Scumcher suggests that innovation in the company can reduce the cost of production and gain maximum profit in the long term. Therefore, subsidies will lead industry relies on government, but investing on high tech company innovation, it might provide more employment opportunity and expand production in order to increase GDP level. In conclusion, the government shouldn't provide a subsidy for domestic manufacturing industry because we should recognize the importance of globalization and new technology innovation. Australia should invest the money into the needed by the city and try for new ways to improve economic growth.